OK, you want to print multiple envelopes with different addresses. I've got my addresses stored in Excel. So what I'm going to do is create a blank document in Word, then go to the Mailings tab on the ribbon, click on this button, Start Mail Merge, and then go straight down to Step by Step Mail Merge Wizard. Down the side here, I need to select Envelopes, and then I go to the next step. I need to click on Envelope Options, and here I need to specify the envelope size. I can specify a font for the delivery address and return address just by clicking on this font button. The default is Calibri Lite size 12. I can also specify a position for the delivery and return address. And you can do that by just increasing the distance from the left and from the top of the envelope. I'll leave the default settings as they are. Then you go to Printing Options, and your printer should appear here. If it doesn't appear, cancel out of the dialog box, go to File and then Print, and select your printer in this drop-down list. Then you can go back, click on Envelope Options, back to Printing Options, and your printer will appear in this dialog box. The settings that you can see here are what Word recommends. So I meant to place my envelope face up and position like this in the tray. Obviously, you can change these settings if you want to. I'm going to keep the settings as Word recommends. And then I go to my next step. In this step, I need to select recipients. So I click on this Browse button. And now I need to navigate to where I've saved my contact list. Select the contact list, I click on OK. Then I click on OK here. Now I've only got one list in this workbook and it's on sheet one. If you have multiple lists, then you'll need to select the relevant sheet. Click on OK and then you can just click on OK again. Then you need to go to your next step. And this is called Arrange Your Envelope. Now you can see I've got a flashing cursor up here in the top left-hand corner of the envelope. And if you do want to display a return address, this is where you type it. Then you need to click down here and you'll see a box will appear. And this is where your recipient's address will be displayed. To display the address, click on address block over here in the mail mode task pane. First thing to do is specify how you want the recipient's name to appear. So you can just have the first name, you can have initials, or you can have first name and last name. I'm going to go for the default option. Now over here, only the last name is appearing in the address block. So I need to click on match fields and I need to match the fields in my contact list with the required fields that appear here. So first name, I can match with the first name field. Address one, I can match with street address. City, I can match with city. State with state. Postal code with zip code. Click on OK. And now I can see the first address in the preview box. If I want to look at the other addresses, I can just navigate through them using this Next button. Then I click on OK. Then I go to my next step, Preview Your Envelopes. And again, I can navigate through the different envelopes using these buttons here. Last step is Complete the Merge. So I then click on Print. And it might be worth just printing one envelope, the current record, just to make sure the address looks correct on the envelope. Once you're sure, you can go back into this dialog box and print all of your envelopes. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.